So Wayne, another critical thing in business is obviously goal setting. So when you talk about goal setting, I mean, where do you start? I mean, is it like the visioning sort of stage or? Look, it involves the visioning stage of your business, but it goes right back to personal development. Goal setting is one of those things that they don't teach you at school. Yeah. You have to pick it up if you do pick it up. You pick it up later on in life. And um, we all know about the great success of direct marketing companies like Avon. And lately there's been some great success with health related products. Yeah. People selling peer to peer. Yeah. Invariably the, um, the DNA of their message is personal development, do it for yourself, set goals and achieve them yep. and reward yourself for achieving the goals. People respond to it. Now, as a business person, you might not be an enthusiastic supporter of Avon and yeah. all those other direct to peer-to-peer -peer marketing yeah. models, but the central theme of goal setting is there for you to take yeah. and you should use it. So. How often do we set little challenges for our staff? Yeah. We're going to get three new accounts this, uh, this quarter. Yeah. And if we do, everyone goes out and has a, yeah. a beer or a barbecue. So, so it's a big part of that being the best you can be and, and leading your team to be the best they can be. Yeah. And setting um, goals that are achievable, yeah. but a bit of a stretch. Yeah. How often do you do that in your business? Yeah. You should be thinking that through as a leader, as the owner, as the person who sets the direction of the company. The first goal setting you've done, mm. and you should have done already, mm. is what's our vision? Yeah. Where are we taking this? Why are we doing it? Why yeah. are we in business? Yeah. Where are we going? How will we know when we're there? Yeah. That's the first bit of goal setting. And you've done it as yeah. a business owner. Yeah. Why stop there? So the leader sets, helps you set that vision and, and give you that big why, why we're in business, our purpose and that type of thing. So I, I suppose I'm seeing goal setting is really putting in those rungs in the ladder along the That's way. That's right. Let's say, remove yourself from business and imagine you're an Olympic swimmer. Yeah. And you want to be uh, you want to be at the Olympics this year in Rio. Yeah. What would you have had to do? Would you yeah. have to break that down into other subset of goals? Yeah. So first you would have to qualify. Yeah. So surely a goal is qualify, qualify for the Olympics. Yeah. But before you did that, you'd have to reach a certain PB that was in the within qualifying time. Yeah. That was your goal. Yeah. So you can imagine if you break it up into the hierarchy of goals yeah. that we're right back to my goal today is to swim a little bit faster yeah. than I swam yesterday. Yeah. That's what you're working on today. The big goal is I'm going to the Olympics. Yeah. But you're not talking about that. So you today. bring it back down so you can see that uh, achieve or maybe not necessarily achievable, a stretch sort of goal, but at each rung in the ladder along the way. Yeah on the way to your overall vision. Yeah. So we're going to be the most successful business yeah. in our industry. Yeah. What's going to get us there? Yeah. What do we, how do we need to behave? What are the performance goals? And it ties back to so many of those other essential components of business we've talked about, doesn't it? I mean, your values, accountability, um, being the best you can be. Yeah. yeah. And I always say to people, don't keep your goals a secret. Yeah. Get them up there in big print on the yes. walls, anywhere you can. Yeah. We're going to get from 50 to 100. Yeah. We're going to be 95%. Or yeah. we're going to, whatever that it is. Visibility is good, isn't it? And yeah. it doesn't have to be overcomplicated, the visibility. I mean, at Business Depot, we write on all the walls um, in all sorts of different types of pens and so forth. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. No, it just has to be front of mind. Yeah. If I go and talk to a uh, personal development guru. Yeah. One of them often quoted techniques to change your behavior, get you to new habits, is they say, put a sign on your bathroom mirror. Yeah. So yeah. every morning you see that sign yeah. that says, today I'm going to be yeah. a better person. Yeah. Today I'm going to lose weight. Yeah. I'm going to 
run faster, yeah. whatever it is you And say. the sporting analogy is such a good analogy, it is. isn't it? I remember Scott Draper speaking at one of our events once and he was talking about, you know, in tennis you lose so many times as a proportion to how many times you win, but it's all about, I don't know, hitting that forehand a, a lot better and so forth. Yeah. So why don't we do that yeah, at this, work? Yeah. You know what we don't do, John? We don't go out and practice. Yeah. Yeah. We, every day we go out and play the game. Yeah. And we don't bother about practicing. Yeah. Yet champion sportsmen and yeah. women practice, 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 practice. Yeah. And they get coaches All to help level. them do yeah. better. Yeah. And then they play the match. Yeah. Then they yeah. practice, practice, practice. Yeah. Why don't we do, don't that, we in do that in business? We just go straight in and expect to win the match. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And some people just have it in their, in their DNA. Some people are just more driven around goal setting and so forth. And oh, I suppose got that drive to sort of take it to the next because level. Because they've been introduced to yeah. it and goal setting has paid off for them. That's why there's a lot of successful business people that are ex-sportsmen, I think. Well, a yeah. good point. Yeah. And a lot of people who get there later in life because they had to work out how yeah. goal setting can be their friend. Yeah. If you'd like to support Wayne's cause, and in particular research into MND, you can buy a copy of the Fat Rabbit books at carrottopisland.com.au. You can donate at mndandme.com.au. And if you enjoyed this video, um, you may enjoy the others in the series, the other six which are all available at businessdepot.com.au.